let G be a group and A, B, C, and G prove that if A, C equals B, C, then A is equal to B. Proof. We'll start by assuming that A, C is equal to B, C. So suppose that A, C is equal to B, C. And the goal here is to show that A is equal to B. So we would just like to cancel the C's. That'd be really, really nice, except we can't do that. We have to actually show that they cancel. That's the whole point of the problem. So because C is in G and G is a group, the inverse of C also is inside G. So let's write that down. So since C is an element in G, and G is a group, so I won't, I won't write that part. We have C inverse in G. And it's one of the properties uh, required. It's, one of the, it's part of the definition of a group. So then what we'll do is we're going to multiply this equation uh, on the right by C inverse. So then, so, and when you multiply an equation, you have to multiply both sides of the equation. So then AC, parentheses, C inverse, is equal to BC, parentheses, C inverse. And now we can invoke associativity. So we can rearrange the parentheses. So this is A, C, C inverse equals B, C, C inverse. And this is, I'll just say, by associativity. And because C inverse is the inverse of C, when you multiply them together, you get the identity. So this is AE equals BE. And so this step here, this is because C inverse is the inverse of C. And then A times E is simply A, B times E is simply B, and this is because E is the identity, because E is the identity. Really nice. And that completes the proof. I'll just put like a little box here to end the proof. But that's the main idea. So uh, this is called, uh, this is one of the cancellation laws in group theory. So it has a name. It basically says you can cancel. So yeah, I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there who is trying to learn. Good luck.